Now that your certificates are set up, you have the power to make IPAs. However, you now have to define which apps and for which devices you want to make test files for. If you add a device after this process is complete, you will need to throw away those provisioning profiles in Xcode and make and load new ones with those devices checked. Let's begin. In the iOS provisioning portal, choose provisioning on the left. You'll notice that you have a distribution and a development tab again. And you guessed it, we will have to make profiles for each. The development tab lets you make a release IPA for testing on the devices you choose. You can use this to build a file to load on your device. The distribution tab lets you create two different kinds of provisioning profiles for distribution. First, you can build a provisioning profile for the App Store. This is to create the profile that will make the final IPA file you will send to Apple. You'll notice that when you create it, you can't choose any of the devices from the list. This is because this file cannot be tested on a device. It is simply used to make the final file you will submit to Apple. The second kind of distribution file you can make is ad hoc. This is similar to the release file you can make, but it also allows you to test things such as push notifications. I'm going to create all three. First, I'll begin under the Development tab, and I'll choose New Profile. I'll give it a specific name so I can recognize what this profile is. I'll call mine Aquafatis Release. I'll choose the certificate it will associate itself with. Then I'll choose the correct app ID. Make sure you pick the correct app ID or you won't be able to make any IPAs for the correct app. If you have multiple app IDs in here and are unsure which one was the correct one, choose app IDs on the left and compare your bundle ID to the one you entered in Ave Portal to make sure you have the correct one. Now select all the devices you want to test on and click Submit. Refresh your page and then choose the download button to download your provisioning profile. Now for distribution. Remember that we will make two for distribution, App Store and Ad Hoc. Click on the distribution tab, then choose new profile. I'll make the App Store one first, so I'll leave the radio button selected. Name your profile. I'll call mine Aquafatis App Store. Select the correct app ID. Remember, there are no devices to choose from because you can't actually load this file on a device. This is the file used for Apple submission. Click Submit, refresh your page, and download this profile. Now choose New Profile again. This time, choose the radio button next to Ad Hoc. My profile name will be Aquafatis Ad Hoc. I'll choose the correct app ID and devices and click Submit. Now I can refresh the page and download this file. Now that I have all three files, I can launch Xcode. Under Library, in the Organizer window of Xcode, I'll choose Provisioning Profiles and drag these files into the Provisioning Profile list. Every time you make a new app, you will need to make provisioning profiles for that app and load them into Xcode, just as we have done now. And again, if you add devices in iOS provisioning, you must throw away these profiles in Xcode and make new ones and then drag those in. Make sure you don't have duplicates or old provisioning profiles in this section or you might not be able to generate an IPA. Now that your profiles have been created, you can generate files in App Factory for testing. If you had App Factory open while you were doing this process, quit App Factory and relaunch it, as provisioning profiles are only loaded in App Factory on launch. In App Factory, once you have chosen and built your app, bought the licenses, and dragged in the certificate from the AVE portal into the bottom left corner of your app file, you are ready to make actual app files on your iOS devices. In the top of the screen, you will see Export to Device. When you click that button, you will be prompted to make either a release, distribution, or ad hoc file. Choose release or ad hoc to test. 
When you choose each one, you should see the correct provisioning profiles connected. If those are blank, you have not correctly loaded the provisioning profiles. The final step now is to create the file and drag that file onto your device using Xcode. Plug in your device and drag it over applications under the device. You can now test the IPA you have created.